This is the M55 Terminus. It's a completely custom crafted electric bike, super high performance. You can see that aluminum alloy frame there. That's custom CNC'd from a, just like a solid chunk of aluminum. You can see the design is just so unique. And it comes in several different flavors. This one's called the Poker Face, and it's, you can see on the, the carbon fiber plate there, uh, hand airbrushed. It's just amazing. The base model on this thing has a 750 watt motor, and it's mid-drive, so you're actually taking advantage of the different gears in this roll-off speed hub in the rear, of which there are 14. I mean, it's just, a, it's just amazing, actually, to even get to see this thing and take it for a test ride. Uh, some of the other specs are it's a 43.2 volt 15.5 amp hour battery with panasonic cells i mentioned the motor is 750 watts but you can actually upgrade it to a thousand or even three thousand watt and of course if you do that and then you're you know riding faster up to almost 50 miles per hour on this thing you're gonna have to register it as like a vehicle um, but of course they do have the the standard speed 20 mile per hour it actually does perform as a bicycle with those pedals. It's about 65 pounds, uh, but the motor, of course, really helps. You got these just enormous, almost like bomber suspension here with those 20 inch hydraulic disc brakes, XTR, front and rear. There's the battery indicator. You've got your power and wattage, you've got your clock, you've got your speed, some rebound adjustment right there. There's that light. This thing comes with pedal assist and throttle mode, which is really cool. That way you can actually take advantage of, of the bicycle aspect of this. And at the Speed Hub is sweet. I like that you can actually change gears while at a standstill if you want. And it just keeps them clean. They're concealed in there. The whole thing is really slick. Batteries, of course, also built in, not removable. So that's one of the you know drawbacks. But frankly, are you really going to leave something like this parked outside? I think you're probably going to bring it in with you and, and then you can just plug it right in. They are pretty expensive, 39.5. So we're, we're talking about tens of thousands of dollars, even for the lowest end model. But this thing is, is completely custom, you know? It's basically handmade, uh, crafted from, a, from aluminum there. It's just not something that you can, can really get anywhere else. I also appreciate that as you can see, the motor is kept really low to the ground along with the battery pack. It's low. It's centrally located, and that's ideal. You're keeping the weight, basically the unsprung weight, as, as low as possible with this thing. And so the suspension is going to perform optimally. And even the balance when you're riding this thing is gonna be, it's gonna be ideal because of where the weight, weight is kept. There's the rear light there. You can see some LEDs. These are the Schwab Crazy Bob tires. DT Swiss, FR600 rims. So I haven't done a test drive quite yet, but I was exploring the pedal assist. So as soon as you turn this crank, even gently, look at that, it just takes right off. It's totally set up to be ultra sensitive and super fast. Let's do it again. Wow. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and try the light out. It's got these supernova, super bright, oh look at that, super bright lights. It's nice how they're just built in like that. So this is the 2013 version that I'm about to test ride here, and that's kind of the key, that little plug right here. On the 2014 version, they're going to have three plugs, kind of like the Bugatti, where a different key unlocks different speeds. So that's, that's one way to kind of optimize it for off-road or you know for private property where you're really hitting those high speeds or to keep it kind of street city legal as a bicycle very cool stuff and it's going to be set up that you can plug it in basically go to the website and they can diagnose any issues that you're having kind of like the tesla model which is just neat okay so i'm going to go ahead and give this thing a try i'm in 12 right now i'm actually going to change this there we go change the speed right there i got the throttle you've got to kind of start the bike up to activate that, so I'm gonna give it a couple pedals here. There we go. And I can feel it kicking in. Pretty quiet. 
you know, mid drives tend to be a little bit noisier just because you've got the gears right there and extra chains moving around. It's very smooth. It kind of reminds me of the feel of like a, a motorcycle or something because there's the extra weight and it's all on the body of the bike. just effortlessly coasts up to 20 miles per hour, which we kind of got it set up right now. And I'm in a limited space, but it's just a lot of fun to cruise around on this thing. Pretty responsive. Like as soon as I stop pedaling, that motor cuts out. And that's what you want. <laughs> Pretty awesome. <laughs> wow. So that's the M55 Terminus. I feel lucky to even ride this thing considering the price point and how rare they are. Uh, neat stuff. You know, it kind of reminds me of the Optibike a little bit, just the, the design and where the battery's positioned. I love that this has pedal assist in addition to throttle mode, and you can kind of set it up however you want. They can they can go one way or the other or sort of combine them like this bike. So we've kind of got both here. So that's about it for the full written review on this and other electric bikes. See you back at electricbikereview.com.